Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy, Derry Branch here of Memphis Wild Strike Seven Sports. And today's video is going to go ahead and just talk about what went down yesterday with the concern of the Memphis Tigers and how does how that um, affect them going forward. As many of you already know by now, um, things have drastically changed for the Memphis Tigers as they um, trying to push forward to get into the NCAA tournament. Um, team is – dynamics have changed for the team compared to what we saw in the months of November through at least the beginning of January. You know, the team is um, pretty much taking a, um, a drastic uh, turn, you know, for the worse. But things can be fixed. Things can be fixed, and there's a lot of hope left um, for them to get things going. As we um, we're in the end, we enter the month of February, which is a critical time for the Tigers now, is um because there's no it's a slim margin for error. Now. You know, they lost, they won, finally got on the winning side yesterday by beating Wichita State by a score of 65-63, ended a four-game losing streak um, at home. You know, won that game, and it's just been ugly. You know, lately. You know, what I'm saying and. That game was not. It was not perfect. It was not. It wasn't. Gonna, it wasn't a blowout victory compared to what we saw in the first game between Memphis and Wichita State. The game was, you know, close going into halftime, but the Wichita State, unlike the first matchup, Wichita State kept with the Tigers for the majority of this game until Memphis adjusted and that, that late in the second half made those crew those two big shots, one by um, Javon Quinnenby. Cornerly and the other one by David Jones that pretty that won them one won them the uh the game against Wichita State. Now going forward, they gotta lock in and and win these games. You know, um, plain and simple, you know, the, the the American, the AAC, this league is is crazy now. It is. And now you have you're you're very this is a very competitive league now because now that Memphis law has lost four straight, lost four straight, but won yesterday, those other teams in the conference, you know, are having confidence now that they could get that second bid in the um, AAC to, to represent the conference in the NCAA tournament. Because right now it's very crowded at the top, you know. And uh, Charlotte is really good. Charlotte is eight and one in the conference. South Florida is eight and one. For Atlantic's eight and one, UAB sixteen six and two in the conference, SMU five and three, and then you got Memphis at five and four, and I mean you got to um, win these games. So you look at the schedule. You look at the schedule. You have let's see Tulane, Temple, Tulane, North Texas, SMU, Charlotte, FAU, East Carolina, UAB. You got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You got nine games left. You got nine games left to nine games left to make a good impression on a selection committee. You got nine games left to do that. Now, for me, this is my opinion, for Memphis to have a realistic shot to get into the tournament, to be comfortable. They can afford at least one more loss, and that one loss, that one, more, that one loss, cannot be against these bottom three feeder teams. I would prefer that they split with Florida Atlantic. If they can beat them both times, that's great. Other than that, they gotta win out. They gotta win all the rest of these games to to get things going, to make a good impression. And once the tournament starts. They cannot have a letdown. They cannot let have a letdown anywhere in that anywhere they play in that, in that tournament, unless it's playing against Florida Atlantic for the conference finals. They gotta make a deep run to that tournament because there is no way Memphis should be losing to teams that are above that are under five hundred. There's no way. All right. So yesterday. You beat, um, you beat uh, Wichita State, right? You got Temple on Wednesday, right? 
Then after that, you rematch with Tulane. That Tulane game looms large. Why it looms large? Because they already beat you. And also, from a historical standpoint, Tulane swept Memphis last year in a, a really close game that went into overtime, if you recall. You got they got to beat Tulane, bro. And then you got after Tulane, you got another ch- another interesting game. I, I'm in my opinion against North Texas, and then you rematch against SMU. That's gonna be crucial. Charlotte is gonna be a huge game. Playing against Charlotte is gonna be a huge game because Charlotte now believes that they can get that second bid. They can get one of these bids to get into the NCAA tournament. That's how highly competitive. This is. This 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 league has got due to the fact that Memphis went on this four game losing streak. And the sad thing about it is that these were they were these games were lost at home. You know, you blew a twenty point lead to South Florida. You um you know got beat, you know what I'm saying? You had a close game against um at home against Rice. Uh, the, the second to last, the worst team <coughs> lost to one of the worst one of the worst teams in the conference. And then you had a close one against Tulane on the road. You got a lot of ground to make up. A lot of ground to make up. And if and I think they can do it. I think they can do it because you cannot tell me that this team this team went on a, had a ten game winning streak. A 10-game winning streak against ranked opponents. You beat it. You went out there and beat ranked opponents at the time. And now in conference play, you having a hard, hard way to go. And I don't think it's a talent issue. It's not a talent issue. You know what I'm saying? It's to me, it's just a matter of execution. Because yesterday, and what I watched yesterday's game, that was yesterday's game. I was there covering it live. It was. It wasn't perfect, man. It was not perfect at all. Defense. They're still having issues on defense. Shooting was was bad. Turn. They had a lot of turnovers compared to uh, Wichita State. Rotations, you know, questionable as, as, at times. But they got it done at the end, though. There's, and hopefully, they can, they got some good tape to watch. And see where they messed up at, and this could get fixed going forward. You know, because Penny Hardaway. Has been here before. He has been in this spot before and got his team to go on runs to get into this NCAA tournament. But they got to, it, it starts this Wednesday. It, well, it really started yesterday. You know, the comeback tour started yesterday. That was a close game against Wichita State. Now you got to play Temple. You play Temple, which is a um, another, another. Team in the uh, yeah second to last team, the last place team in the uh, in the conference right now with a one and seven record, eight and thirteen overall. You playing against Temple on Wednesday. You gotta take care of business. You gotta take care of business against Tulane at home. And I, I think it's a gun. It's like a it's a ch- the challenge is just to start to um, out on your schedule because you play in uh, North Texas, SMU, Charlotte, FAU. That's just that's the season right there. That's good. That, that that's four game stretch is going to determine the tiger. That five game stretch is going to determine the, the, the tiger season. This is the this is the last stand, you know. And I think out of the five games I mentioned, you can only afford to lose one of them, and that one has to be against Florida Atlantic. You can't lose again. You got Charlotte at home. You got SMU on the road. Your, this team, if you can beat those teams, you can beat. You can have that type of record outside in the um in the out in the out of conference slate. You can be that good winning ten straight ten games in a row. You can do that. You can apply that when you're playing against conference opponents. You know what I'm saying? Um, but we just gotta wait and see how it's gonna play out, man. It's um a lot of basketball left to be played. Tigers can still, you know. Go on a run, make a good impression on the selection committee, and get into the NCAA tournament. You know, Penny Hardaway. You know what I'm saying? 
listen to listen to his um, listening to his uh, post game presser yesterday. I kind of felt like he, uh, he he felt optimistic that his team could get into the tournament. He he really does. Um, he was just talking about how he just didn't appreciate some of the uh, some of the remarks that were made out there by the team and all that, and the team not being together and things like that. Hey, you know what? When when people spend the amount of money to attend these games and buy merch and all this other stuff, they will complain. You know what I'm saying? If, if people invest a lot of time and money into uh, watching this program play. You know, so criticism, I mean, they have a right to criticize. You know I'm saying some of, his, some of the stuff is excessive, kind of taking it too far, but that comes with the territory. You know what I'm saying? But I think they got they got enough time to get get it turned around. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot a lot of basketball left. It's a parity field league. You know, anybody can lose at any given day. We've seen that already. But right now, the Tigers gotta get back on track, man. Get back on track. Fix the things you can fix. And uh prepare themselves to go against the win against Temple this Wednesday. Tulane next Saturday on the S on the North Texas and SMU play Charlotte at home and then the big one at home as well against um Florida Atlantic. After that, man, that's pretty much gotta take care of business. You know? But um good win yesterday by the Tigers, man. Good win. Good win a nice way to uh, to bounce back um and get make things happen. Um that new rotation they tried it out there just today on Friday, yesterday. Um, you know, it was kind of, you know, kind of looked look, 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 look a little combi- combobulated at first. Just combobulated at first, you know. But they got to get it right, you know. wasn't pretty yesterday, but they got the win. That's what matters. You got to be 1-0 and every day. Go 1-0 and in every game. That's what it is right now, 1-0. and So we'll see how that play out soon, all right? All right, so I'll have y'all for right now, man. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel. Do you make? Do you think Memphis can go on a deep run in the AAC to close out the season, and you know, quite position themselves to getting back into the NCAA tournament? Also, check out strikesevensports.com forward slash Memphis Tigers for latest content on the Memphis Tigers men's basketball men's basketball program along with the football program. Have a blessed day. Peace. I'm out.